Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this coal. I mean, we can use it anyways, but it's always right in the way when I run in here. Oh, shit, there's the worm. What the hell, man? Where are you? There you are. Oh, yeah. We took him out quick with the iron knife. Love it. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to hopefully be able to make some iron tools. So I went back to the cave and got another load of iron, a little bit of copper, a little bit of coal, that sort of thing. I noticed, too, that the gold does not smelt in this furnace, so apparently we probably have to have some higher level uh, furnace for that. But we do have 40 ingots now, iron ingots to be precise, so let's transfer those over to our inventory. And uh, now we want to make an anvil bench. Looks like we're going to need a little bit of stone too. So let's run out here and grab ourselves some stone. And hopefully this will be the last time during this prospect anyways, that we have to use a stone pick or stone ax for that matter. And then I'm assuming that once we get the iron tools, we will be able to harvest resources faster and or get more resources for our efforts. All right, so let's go in back into here and into the workbench, and let's make ourselves an anvil. Look at that. Awesome, man. Crafting bench anvil. So then uh, we learned iron knife, iron pick, and iron axe. I didn't do the spear because I guess there's some question as to whether or not the spear is all that awesome. Um, so let's put this right here next to the forge or the furnace. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Look at this, man. Iron nails and copper nails. Uh, so we can make copper nails from that. All right, so this is all the stuff we're going to need to make the axe and the pick. So the pick only requires six ingots. Very nice. Okay, so we already have uh, more of those. Whoops. Uh, let's transfer those over to here, and then uh, we'll put those in there. And a 60, plus 60 mining radius and 125% yield for mining versus 50 minus radius and 100% yield for mining. Nice. Okay, so this is 25% better and has a little bit more of a mining radius. Very nice. Okay, let's make our first iron pick. Look at that. Oh, man, that's a beautiful thing, you guys. All right, no more stone pick. Stone pick is no longer a thing. Maybe we'll hang on to it as a backup for now. I don't know. And then for the axe, uh, we're going to need some wood and some iron nails. Uh, so it looks like we need two iron nails. We can make ten from here. So let's make some iron nails. Okay, so we got that. And then we also need a little bit of wood. I put some wood back in here. Uh, we have 34 there. And... Wait, what? Oh, did I put the wood in the chest? I did. Okay. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Iron axe. So now we uh, are in the Iron Age, people. No more Stone Age bullshit. And then uh, we can, looks like we can also make the kniffy too, so let's do that. Hot damn. Okay, so we will retire our bone knife. And there we go. Okay, so let's, um, let's just put this stuff in here so we have it as a backup for now. And I guess for iron nails, or I'm sorry, not iron nails, but for iron arrows, that's something that we'll be able to to get fairly soon. Uh, where would we get it? Oh, I guess we have to be in tier two. So where are iron arrows? Okay, we got iron bolt, steel bolt, steel knife, uh, copper bolt. Bolt would suggest crossbow there, right? Copper bolt. Um, oh yeah, there's a crossbow right there. Awesome. Okay, where's the iron arrows though? We got flint arrow that requires level 15. I don't see an iron arrow in here. Huh. Okay. 
fair enough. Uh, we can make a mortar and pestle. So let's do that. Uh, by the way, these oxygen bladders are really good. They don't leak A and B. Um, they, you know, they, they store the oxygen and then we can take a hit off of them. And it only uses like maybe a quarter of it to fill our oxygen. So those are great. Uh, I made two water skins. I really probably didn't need to do that because they both leak at the same time. So, <laughs> yeah, that was probably not worthwhile, but whatever. We did it. Uh, okay, so let's see. What are we going to do now? So we got uh, the iron tools, which is great. And we want to probably go... Uh, what are you doing? Okay, so you're continuing to make this. Let's grab these copper ingots out of here, too. And put, in fact, I guess we could just grab all the ingots out of here, right? Yeah, we'll let that finish up. We'll put the ingots in here. And then we can make some copper nails. So let's craft up those. Okay. And then over here, we could make that cupboard thing. Uh, so that needs, oh, we're going to need more leather, wood, and rope. So rope, oh, rope is made from fiber. Okay, so great. Let's grab, like, say, three stacks of fiber, and let's make a crap ton of rope. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to probably need to do some more hunting, and then, you know, we'll have to cut some more wood, too, which, of course, we can do with our awesome iron tools. Yes, indeed. I'm going to put these nails in here for now because we don't need to carry them with us. And, yeah, let's go out and do a little bit of hunting with our longbow. And um, I, I'm going to go back to that cave and mine the rest of it out because we might as well. But that's something I can, of course, do off camera. So why don't we spend the next part of uh, this episode doing a little bit of hunting and maybe a little exploration. Though we've kind of been in this area already. Um, you know, we went up this way to do the, the survey quest. Well, why don't we do that, do that? Since there seems like there's a lot more map this direction, why don't we kind of go to the east, nor northeast, east northeast ish, and just do a little bit of exploration and some hunting? Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We got plenty of oxygen. Can I? He turned his head right when I. Release the arrow. Okay, let's see if we can follow him. He's, uh, you know, there's that, cr uh, that tracking thing. I gotta find the blood, a blood splatter. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, holds to examine. Okay, so let's track this guy. Oh, there he is, right there. <laughs> he was right there. Shit. Okay. All right, he's chilled out. Did he just bed down? I can't really see him very well. What's he doing? Yeah, he bedded down. Got him. Okay. One reason why we want to get him, other than we want to get him, is because we get our arrows back. Oh, look at that iron knife. It's got a little ring on the end. That's kind of neat. I'm assuming, does the iron knife just give us more... Material? Let's see, what does the description say on this thing? <clears throat> 20 or 200% yield from skinning. Nice. Okay. Very good. Oh, it's got projectile damage too, so I guess we can throw this if we wanted to. All right, that's cool. Uh, all right, yeah, so we're going to go east ish. We got a little wolf here. Um, Let's kill these wolves with our iron knife. Uh-oh. I think I accidentally just threw my knife away. <laughs> or threw it down. We're going to need to find it. It should be right over here somewhere. Oh, man. It's going to be hard to find. I think I accidentally hit Q and dropped it. I might have to change the drop key to something else. Oh, shit, man. How are we going to find it? It's in the... Sh oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that's the wolf. Oh, damn it. Okay, here. Let's get this out. 
Okay, that's going to help a little bit. It's right around in here. Let's also get rid of all the shrubbery. Okay, the wolf's right there. I was coming towards him, and I was going to melee him. And I think I dropped the freaking knife. Oh, no. I mean, we can go back and make another one, I guess, if we have to, but that kind of sucks. I do not see it anywhere in this area. I'm sure it's, like, right underneath one of these, you know, one of these plants here, but how in the hell am I supposed to find it? Can you believe that, man? We make ourselves a nice new shiny iron knife, and I frickin' lose it. First time we use it. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. He wouldn't happen to be on top of it, would he? There. Drop you. I should probably just go back and make a new one because I'm going to waste more time trying to find the damn thing than... Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, well... Yeah, I don't think there's any, any find in it, man. Well, okay. We're not going to be able to harvest those guys without a knife anyway, unless I guess I could make a stone knife. Can I make a stone knife? Uh, yeah. Let's make a stone knife so we can at least harvest these wolves so they don't go to waste. And then I'll just go make another one because, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to spend any more time looking for this thing. It's too bad, but it is what it is. Okay, let's harvest this wolf too. Yeah, we got we to gotta change our drop key to s some other key. Oh, good. We got to level up. Nice. Oh, wow. And that's just with the stone knife. Yeah, this knife does actually... Does seem to be a pretty good weapon. Okay, let's go back home and make a new iron knife. Because I dweebed out. And threw, threw away our other knife. And we're going to change... Our drop key. And we also have some talent points and blueprint points to to do. Um, okay, so let's make a new knife. There we go. Put that here. Uh, the stone knife we're just going to destroy. Now, let's go into our controls, settings, uh, controls. So drop is Q. Uh, let's set that to O. O is already assigned to crafting. Do you want to rebind? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so if I press O, it opens up the crafting menu. Oh, okay. Um, I I use is C used for anything? Because we could use C for crafting. Uh, wait, wrong place. Let's look. C is used for swap camera. Oh, yeah, like camera mode. That should be V anyways, in my opinion. Is V used for anything? It is not. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this V for view. We're going to make crafting menu C. No, that's zero. And then we're going to make drop O. Where did it go? Crafting. Hot bar hands. Drop item right here. There we go. Okay. We got that done. Okay, so C opens crafting menu, O drops whatever we have equipped. 
Very nice. And we're, we're good to... Oh, and V changes camera. Perfect. Okay. Okay, we got that taken care of. Now, um, what are we doing? Where are we going and why are we here? Let's get this meat in here. And we got skills that we got to take a look at. You know, I don't think we need to carry stone around with us anymore now that we're not using stone tools. So why don't we get rid of that stone from our inventory? Okay. And for that matter, we could probably get rid of the fiber and the sticks too. But I think we might want to still... I mean, we're still using bone arrows. So we might want to still keep that stuff with us for, for the time being. Oh. Yeah, I didn't mean to drop that. Okay, let's look at our stuff. So talents. We have um, two talents to spend. Uh, let's finish this low maintenance business. And then what else do we have? The big three. Okay, increase wood... Stone, wood, and metal weigh less in inventory. Ooh, both of those could be actually really darn useful, huh? Um, I mean, I'm going to take both of them, so let's go with the the, carry, the reduced carry weight first. I'm probably just going to get all of these because I can, you know, and then we'll, go, then we'll start looking at the other stuff. Okay, tech tree. <clears throat> uh, now we can do flint arrow. Fantastic. So leather stick and iron ore. Why iron for flint? Flint is a stone item. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We're going to do it anyway. That doesn't make sense to my brain, but whatever. Okay, let's go back to here. Um, ice box. Oh, stores for low terms. That's cool, but I don't think that's going to do us any good until we can get to ice itself. Uh, so we can do the cooking station. Should we just do the fireplace? I mean, it's kind of cool looking. Yeah, let's do the fireplace. We're going to do the cooking station. And we're going to potbelly stove. A wrought iron stove for heating. So that's just for heating. Again, that kind of seems like something we might want in the snow biome. Not necessarily here and now. So we could do flour. Or the herbalism bench. What does this do again? Oh, let's just make like medicine types of things, right? Um, or the textiles bench, which is going to let us do better armor. Like leather armor. Or the carpentry bench. What does this do? Workbench of tools for advanced wooden crafting. Huh. Masonry bench. Okay, I think we're going to need that to get to stone. Let's do that. Okay, that spends all of our points. Okay, cool. So what do we got going on? We got a storm incoming. It's just kind of an, it's a normal storm, not a freaking uh, lightning storm. So that's good. Uh, for the masonry bench, do we make that here? Yeah, we're going to need wood and iron nails. Chimney cap, chimney extension, fireplace. We already got the anvil. Oh, we wanted to make this wooden cupboard, but we need more wood for before we can do that. Likewise for the fireplace. Chimneys are cool. Is that just for aesthetics, probably? I don't think it actually does anything, does it? So I'm kind of interested in this masonry bench. Oh, wow, 120 iron nails? Oh, yeah, that's going to be 12 ingots. How many ingots do we have? Oh, yeah, we've got enough to do that, actually. Plus, we have a few more ingots in here, too. Oh, well, let's uh, turn that off so we're not build burning coal unnecessarily. All right, let's do um, 120 of these. I'm going to go back and get more iron out of that cave anyways. I would like to make that masonry bench. Hopefully the storm isn't doing any damage to our wood hut. Um, can we tell if it is? Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. So we have to just kind of keep an eye on that. Only seems to be damaging the peak. Uh, and that too.
That part's okay. Huh. Alright. And it's going down again a little bit. I wonder why it's not... Oh, it is damaging some of these. Okay. So it's almost like it's a little bit of a random kind of thing. The worst of the storm's passing right now because it shows red in the thing. Oh, wow, look at that. It's tearing holes in the house. Shit. Okay. We're just going to have to kind of try and stay on top of it till the red part passes, and then I think we'll be better. So, yeah, the masonry bench, I'm assuming we need that to upgrade our house to stone uh, because of this reason here. Our hammer's about ready to break. It did break, so uh, we need some wood to repair that. Oh, crap. I don't think I have any more wood. Oh, yeah, I do. I got a little bit of wood here. Okay, good. Okay, anything like cracking? Yeah, that is. Um, sounded like something broke over here maybe I'm just kind of wanting to hit the worst parts at the moment let's hit that one that one's not too bad we're gonna need to make the iron hammer because I'm sure it has a lot better durability than the wooden hammer oh yeah this one's broken Yeah, I know. We need to eat and water and O2. Stamina is depleted. Come on, you stupid storm. You're lasting longer than you need. You have any rights to. Okay, let's eat something real quick. Uh, so we'll consume that, that, and that. And that gets our food back up. Let's go to here and consume that and that. I guess maybe it was a good idea to have two waters, eh? And then we need some air, too. So that filled us all the way up, and it only used a quarter of the thing. Are you guys okay? Yeah, these guys don't seem to be getting damaged, even though the window's open, so that's good. Okay. Storm is abating. So let's just keep kind of keeping things topped off here. That one's okay. That one's okay. That one needs a little attention. Okay, the door's good. Uh, yeah, that one needs a couple hits too. That one's good, that one's good, that one's good. This one needs some attention. Uh, okay, I think, yeah, let's hit that one. Did we look at these triangles? Yeah, we need to do those too. Oh, this is broken again. Yeah, we definitely need to get a freaking iron hammer going. At least we can reach all the way up there from down here. That's kind of nice. Okay, so the peak is good. Uh, that needs a couple taps there. That one's good. That one's good, that one's good, that one's good. Okay, I think we're all repaired. This floor should be fine. Wow, okay, yeah, you really got to be on your toes, man, and active, uh, keeping things repaired and all that. It's kind of fun, though. Kind of fun. All right, let's put the hammer in here. Let's go back to uh, the tech tree and uh, scroll this back over here. Where is... 
The iron hammer. Uh, iron repair hammer. Okay, so we probably better think about getting this when we get some more points. Yeah, because it'll, it'll last longer and we don't have to, like, continually repair that sort of thing. Very good. Okay, guys. So we are doing pretty good, I think. Uh, we made... Uh, we wanted to, actually, we wanted to make the, the cupboard thing, right? And then it's because I need some more wood. Okay. Here. Can we eat some of those too? Let's put this back in here and fill it up. Oh, this is so much nicer than having to keep putting the oxide in your suit thing. Um, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. It makes it last a lot longer. A lot longer. Okay. Um, so I guess is it to can we sleep? Yep, we can. Nice. Okay, so it's 7 a.m. Alright, well, I'm gonna go cut some wood. Dang! Look what the storm did to our little forest. Wow, we're like really laggy. If I look that way, it lags out quite a bit. So I'm going to cut up this wood that the damn storm knocked over. At least it didn't knock it over on the house. And then I'm um, just trying to see if this seems like it cuts faster than the stone. Yeah, I think it does cut a little bit faster than the stone. Plus, it's probably a lot more durable, too. Uh, so, yeah, let me cut some wood, and then we'll go make a couple more things before we wrap up this episode. All right, guys. So, um, I harvested all the trees that fell down in the storm. And we're grabbing a little bit of stone, too. And uh, loving the pickaxe, because it... The iron pickaxe, uh, because it, you know, mines uh, a larger area of voxels. Which, in turn, of course, means we can get through the stone pile a lot faster. So, pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Let's just get all of the rest of it here. I don't know. It seems to me... I could be mistaken, but it seems to me like it uses less stamina, too, uh, using the pick. I don't know if that's actually the case, but it kind of seems that way. All right. We should be able to... Get the rest of this. I've done, <clears throat> noticed when you're mining a, you know, a boulder or something like that. There we go. Uh, as soon as it gets, you know, the bar gets all the way down, it just takes the rest of it away. Uh, oh wow, yeah, look at that. We got a lot of stone in a relatively short period of time. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do a max craft on these, and we'll get a couple stone piles set down. Uh, as you can see, I got the wood piles there. And uh, we'll put the stone piles here. Excellent. Okay, let's go back inside here. And see what we need to make the masonry bench. So we need 120 iron nails. I think we already made those, right? Uh, there and there. 124 to be precise. Okay, and then we still have a little bit of this left. I'm going to go back to the cave, of course, and get uh, more ore. And then what else does the masonry bench need? Uh, just the wood. Okay, so let's go grab one of our stacks of wood. Let's close the door just in case the wolf decides to come into the house uninvited. And let's make a masonry bench. Okay, cool. So I guess what we do with this is we put stone in it and then we can use the stone to upgrade unless we need to be like in the next tier before we can actually do anything with it. I don't know. Uh, but let's just put it over here. Tools for working and shaping stone. Okay, so we don't have any recipes, so that would seem to suggest... If I put stone in there, yeah. That would seem to suggest that I, I need to learn something from the tech tree. Maybe it's tier three. Let's look. 
machining bench, concrete furnace. Wow, this seems more advanced than just stone, though. Um. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Stone over here. Okay, so by doing the masonry bench, we unlocked the stone. And now when we get more points, we can start getting this stuff here, which will allow us the, then to start upgrading. Okay, gotcha. So that's kind of what I want to do. I'm, I'm going to take this house to stone because it's, you know, it's it's our, well, it's our home. It's not our ultimate home. That, uh, I'm planning on building a, a cool base. But, you know, it's our home for the time being. And it's such a pain in the butt, you know, to keep it upgraded and repaired during storms and that sort of thing that I don't want to have to mess with that. So we will you know, get this place upgraded to stone too, but I'm not planning on taking any higher than that as long as the stone can hold up to the weather, which my understanding is that it does a pretty good job of of doing that. Okay, so let's eat some meat here, and we'll get that third buff. Okay, so um, I'm going to go out and... Um, Get a little more oxide, I think. Let's put these nails in the crafting bench. And maybe we'll even put the wood in there, too. And I don't think I need to carry around... Oh, right. We were going to make the cupboard thing, too, weren't we? Okay, let's do that next. Uh, so we just need more wood. We'll grab another thing of this wood here. Kind of sucks, man. I went to all that effort to kind of thin the forest out in front of the house, and it's the thinned part of the forest that the storm blew over. It didn't blow any trees over out here at all. Like, what the hell, man? Oh, well. It's what it is, I guess. Okay, so what are we doing? We are... We're going to make the... The cupboard thing. Wood cupboard. Okay, so let's craft that. Nice. And we'll set this over here. Uh, right there's good enough for now. So this gives us quite a bit more storage space than these guys do. Right on. Cool. Alright, I might actually make a couple more of those and do away with these guys. I'm not going to do that right this moment, but... Yeah, okay, cool. I like that. Lots of storage in here. Excellent. Um, all right, so what do we need to do? Uh, how are we doing on level? Yeah, we, we got a, we got a ways to go, so probably some more hunting is in order. And now that I have the iron tools, of course, that's going to help us with, uh, uh, with harvesting, because I can already tell quite a bit of difference uh, with those tools. Uh, so let's go grab some more oxite for our oxite station thing. And we should be able to get a whole mess of it. And then we don't even have to worry about oxygen for a long time to come. Yeah, this is so nice because it it harvests larger chunks than the stone pick does. So we can get through it more quickly. Presumably, you know, giving us the same quantity, though, as the stone, just much more quickly. We need to rest for some stamina. Uh, we'll do a little bit of hunting while we're out here, too. Um, flint arrows. Oh, we we learned those, didn't we? Yeah, we need to make some flint arrows. Uh, which I think we're going to have to do in the anvil, probably. Or maybe the crafting station. So why don't we get some oxite... See, we're already about halfway full. Yeah, let's run over to the mine and grab some more iron. Because uh, I want to make a bunch of flint arrows. And then we'll, you know, pretty much be out of the bone age. And in fully into the iron age at that point. Uh, we still have the, the bone spear, of course, but... I'll probably just hang on to that for the time being, but... It seems like using the knife is uh, at least as effective as the spear is. I'd grab more oxide, but I want to save room for more iron. Okay, we're going to have to fight the uh, worm thing because he always repops. 
So let's run in here. And then, where's he gonna pop out at? Oh, is he not gonna repop? Maybe not. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's see. What are we, we still got an iron stone there. This is platinum, which I, what, I wasn't able to actually mine that with. Oh yeah, see, I can't even mine that with an iron pick. So we probably need a steel pick to get that. That's probably what the two chevrons mean. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, let's get this iron here. I'm gonna... Uh, let's toss this with... Oh! Down there. Oh, man. We can't quite see far enough over there if we do that, right? Uh, so... Get that back out. Can we toss it here? Yeah, just we can just barely see. Okay, so we'll get some more iron, then we're going to go make some flint arrows. And maybe tomorrow's episode will be an exploration and hunting episode. It's really hard to tell if I'm getting all of it because uh, I can't see very well. This one we can see pretty good. Nice. All right, let's get out of the cave. And reset the pneumonia timer thingamadoodle. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this coal. I mean, we can use it anyways, but it's always right in the way when I run in here. Oh, shit, there's the worm. What the hell, man? Uh, okay. Where are you? There you are. Oh, yeah. We took him out quick with the iron knife. Love it. Anyway, yeah, I want to get this out of the way, so next time we run in here and have to zerg that guy, I want to be able to not stumble on this thing of coal that's always in the freaking way. Uh, there. Actually, here, we can, we can drop that so we can see what we're doing. Okay, I think that gets rid of the coal. Uh, how much... Space. Oh, we don't have very much space left, do we? All right, well, let's grab a little bit more copper. Just enough right before we're completely loaded up here. All right, that's probably good enough. So what's left in here? Um, we've got another thing of copper. A little bit of iron left. That's the platinum that we can't get. There's another coal up there. And, oh, there's another iron way back there, too. Okay. So there's a little bit left in here to get. Not a ton. Another coal right there. Another copper there. Another coal there. Oh, and another iron there. Okay, so there's enough. Definitely enough for another trip. Maybe even two more back here uh, to get all of this stuff. Let's go back home and make ourselves some flint arrows. Okay. So... What do we need for flint arrows? Uh, no, we don't make those in there. I guess we make those in here, right? Flint arrows. Uh, oh, we just need iron ore. We don't even need to smelt it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, how many of these can we make? 75? Woo! How about, say, 30? 30. How about 35? <laughs> we'll make 35. Okay. That's nice that we don't have to smelt the iron first, actually. Very nice. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have now graduated to iron arrows. Let's put this in it in storage. Grab these, and then we'll go to our longbow and switch to iron arrows. There we go. All right. Now we have one more bone arrow. We'll, we'll again. We'll we'll hang on to this other stuff for backup for now. And now, let's load up you with Oxite. Look at that, man. Five more pieces, and this thing is maxed out. Um, and I don't think it consumes the sulfur until it's actually filling something up. Yeah, see? 
Now it's consuming it while it's filling it up. This is great. We almost don't even need two of these, really. But we'll, we have two, so we'll use two. All right, let's take the rest of our ore, throw it in here, and then... Um, wait, where's the coal? Oh, I guess the coal. Yeah, the coal went in there, too. And we'll make some more ingots out of that. All right, you guys. Well, we had a great, good day today. Really good day. So what I'm going to do is let you go here. Um, I'm going to go get a little bit more oxide to completely fill this up because I can. <laughs> and then I think what we'll do in the next episode is we'll do a little bit of exploration and some hunting with our upgraded weaponry. And, um, yeah, so that is the plan for the next episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.